Oh, nakita rin yung screen class. <clears throat> makita ra. Makita lang, sir. Okay, so before we start our orientation, um, can you give me um, your expectation about this subject? Um, na ay gusto mo tubag or manawag ko? Sige, magsugod na kang kuan. Uh, lima lang ka bukang tawagon. Kang Raipod. Na si Raipod. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, sige, tagay ko expectation ni mga uh, subject. So, my expectation for this subject is to learn more about foundation, sir. Uh, structure. That's a thank you. Okay. Uh, pwede ka manawag o isa ka lalaki para mo sunod sa'yo mo? Bilarmino, sir. sir si uh, Bilarmino, sir. Uh, Bilarmino. Itawag ka ni Raipon. <clears throat> Ay, ninyo, sir. Ang akong expectation ng subject, sir, kay Juan, kanang mas makapun, pagkit o, ay abot sa kanang building nga, uh, saan pag, kaya itong, how to, kung sa building nga, uh, kung sa mga strong foundation na kailangan para diligid mag-collapse ng building. Okay, very good. Hindi uh, ka manawag o, babae. Ayun, insa ko, sir. Pagtawag ko isa ka babae nga, hindi mo ipatubag sa nun. Si Pan, sir. Bali, sir. Si Bali daw. Miss Bali. Naaba si Miss Bale. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, my expectation for the subject, sir, is uh, learn more about the foundation design and uh, structure of a building po, sir. Okay. Uh, tawag ang lalaki sa... Sige, ako na lang madawag. Uh, Mr. Gaid. <clears throat> Sige, ikaw Mr. Gaid. Uh, sir, so ang expectation ating a subject, sir, is of course to learn more about budget, sir. More in-depth pa sa foundation engineering, sir. Sir, isa mo ganit sa pinaka-integral ng part is magtukod sa mga buildings. So, masyada, masyada yun siya yung makatuod ng ganyan ang mga tanya, sir. Okay, sige. Tawag ang isa ka babae, Mr. Gaid. Itong last nga tawag ko. Sige ka babae. Nandulo, nabang kayo lalong pa. Si... Paano sir? Si Madelo sir? Si Madelo sir. Anong dito ni mo kayo lalong daw? Nasa si Madelo. Good evening everyone. Ang akong expectation na yung subject kay Morag. Dagan yung kinig computation, no? Kay from the word foundation. So, murag gisago lagid ang steel ani before na mo og ka ng RC bali sa concrete. So, moto and hopefully makatoon rapod ni sa imong sir through sa imong pagtudlo and all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Madelo. So, aton tanawon kung naabog kita ni computation ng foundation engineering. So, before ta mag-start sa itong week 1 nga lesson, mag-orient ako gamay kay supposed to be last week pa niyong orientation. Ako na lang ni-insert ka dito para dili tama loaded o mga schedules pag-abot sa ating exam na. Then, 
So, gamay lang nga uh, introduction sa, ay, gamay lang nga uh, discussion sa outline and then uh, we will proceed to our um, formal na topic sa ito, Foundation Engineering. So, CA427, Foundation Engineering. So, this was, this presentation was prepared by uh, Dr. Vera Caengles, Engineer Abad, your instructor, and then Engineer David Arielbas. So, um, um, tanan man siguro subject or um, tanan subject ninyo mag-introduce o guest TV vision. So, I hope dilinin ninyo labyan lang. So, uh, take time to read and understand the vision since you're already graduating. So, unta um, na memorize na yun nato since fourth year na ta. And then, we have our USTP mission. Okay, so... First year pa lang na ano siya. So, our, the, fund, ang, karun, ang foundation engineering uh, faculty, uh, we have the Bayanihan teachers. So, ang uh, meaning sa the Bayanihan teachers, uh, muna sila ang grupo uh, na, na specific na subject. Um, there are two coming instructors and wala pa mi kaila. So, dili pa na ko ma-introduce ma ang dua ka teachers but they are going to handle after my section e e efg h and so on siguro nga section so um sa kung pagka dungog mer wala pa siguro yung section og m so sa mo ang timer a b c d ra man siguro among section so takandagan jud mo so daghan jud ta Kudagan yung kailangan niya instructors this sem. So, so atong first nga instructor sa foundation engineering is your instructor, Engineer Andre Abad. And then, ang uh, second instructor is Engineer David Oriel Bas. And, um, at magkuhan po ta, i-mention po na po ang katanduan na to ka-instructor. So, si Engineer David is, he is handling section A, B, C, D. And I am handling E, F, G only na section. So, sunod so rami ni engineer bas sa uh, mga section. So, anyways, um, so, uh, number of units for lecture and laboratory. So, um, foundation engineering has three units for lecture and then one unit for laboratory. So usually ang atong laboratory is every second meeting nato which is Saturday right so Tuesday and Saturday man tong schedule diri sa section E so every Saturday atong laboratory which is supposedly F to F class but unfortunately with wala pa mi hangtod karon wala pa ko schedule sa ay wala pa tay assignment sa room so maglatulat lang ta nga matagantag matagantag room assignment and give priority pa siguro tong pinakauna nga section which is ang ABCD but sa akong nabalitaan wala pa Japan siya room assignment so purely online sa takaron nga week until nga naana tay classroom so um naabot concerns regarding sa online o face to face nga class or naabot ay issue ana nga nga teaching sa to ang kan classroom uh, ay makastorya okay so if wala may kuan um i guess marganad na mo og online class and but um for me mas challenge tong face to face class para mas makita nato ang reaction sa mga ug ang mga naong sa tong mga classmates while they learn sa topic sa tong foundation engineering so next is number of contact hours per week so every week nata magrender tag 6 hours sa atong subject na foundation engineering so 3 hours for lecture which is karon nga schedule and then 3 hours for laboratory which is Saturday. So, prerequisite, okay, CE311 which is ang um, 
structural theory. So, kung manaman tayo, with third year man din ninyo nga subject siguro, first sem. So, so mag-expect na na atin mag-analyst of structure when it comes to foundation engineering. Okay, so look. Okay, the other point. Okay, course description. So, this course starts with a review of fundamental concept of soil mechanics and an introduction to subsurface exploration. It deals with lateral loads, earth retaining structure, and excavation. So, not a nag deal with lateral loads and earth retaining structures and excavation. So, uh, lateral loads is commonly used in structural design and also in theory uh, when sa load. So, Performance requirements applied loads based on codes and selection of foundation, shallow foundation design, and deep foundation design. So, madiscuss rin na tatanan. It is noted that the application of foundation engineering necessitates background and significant knowledge in the areas of structural analysis, concrete and steel design, and construction methods. But this course will solely focus on geotechnical aspects of foundation engineering. So those mentions are will not be fully discussed or mag deep stud um uh, we do deep um research for this um for the topics but um we will just focus on tech geotechnical aspects and of foundation engineering. Course outcomes. Okay number one we have we have to select appropriate sampling method for subsurface exploration. Number two, determine the lateral pressure, depth of penetration, and stresses in bracing systems of the earth retaining structures. Number three, calculate the bearing capacity of the soil and settlement of both shallow and deep foundation with applicable correction factors with the consideration of water effect and layering. And number four, perform soil experiments and interpret data. So, for our course, course outline, okay, so, nara, manin siyang course outline sa itong midterm. So, week one, okay, introduction to course, so, manin siya itong course outline. So, review on index classification of soil and soil classification. So, this week, manin atong i-discuss and then for our week two, subsurface exploration. And for week three, lateral loads at rest, active and passive pressures, A, Rankine theory, and column theory. So for week four, uh, we have earth retaining structures and cantilever sheet piles. So for week five, continuation for earth retaining structures, uh, which is anchored sheet pile. So that and the topic. And for the for week six, we have earth retaining structures and brace cuts. Week seven, perform performance requirements applied load based on codes and selection of foundations. Week eight, laboratory exercise. So and then week nine, midterm examination. So, uh, you mark the date, uh, okay? So, every ad, every other week, natin lalay atong topic sa, lalay atong topic and um, i-track na ninyo kung kano sa ang midterm examinations para makaandam ta sa atong kwan. And for every term, natin isa-isa ra ka laboratory exercise. So, natin alam mo nga, Every week na ate laboratory. So, um, ang among na meetingan is, ang kanang laboratory nga schedule na to is maybe mag, magpabuhat na lang o magpabuhat ay mag, mag, mag require na lang mi o plates or kanang mga exercises para ma practice ang ano, uh, mastery sa solving ani nga subject. And then, um, ang for our laboratory, i discuss na, na ni ni Ma'am Vera, uh, Engineer Vera ka Ingles. Um, magulat lang mi sayang sayang iingon para ana nga sa laboratory. Okay, so mao lang to ang sa midterm and then we have our final term. So for week 10, shallow foundation 
uh, shallow foundation. This is of ultimate bearing capacity equations, uh, which is um, Terzaghi and Mero. And ultimate bearing capacity equation due to presence of water. So for week 11, we have shallow foundation, settlement, uh, continuation job on Shasa week 10, and then deep foundation, which is the bearing capacity. And for week 12, continuation for deep foundation, deep foundation, uh, settlement, and group of piles and pile cup. And then for week 13, design of shallow foundation, spread, square, strip, and mat. And week 14, uh, laboratory exercise na pod. Um, and then for week 15, which is our final term for examination. So, dali ra siya. Mark. Mga January, mo na nato niyang ang SEM. So, any questions sa uh, atong course outline? So, for our course requirements, okay, class attendance and part participation policy. So, upon admission or start of the class, enrolled students are required to present and submit a copy of their COR. So, sige lang, kay na naman ko copy sa list sa aning section. Prompt and regular attendance is synchronous classes is required of all students throughout the duration of this course. USTEP, USTEP is the main LMS platform to be used. Hence, students must enroll to their respective individual account. Okay, so uh, wala pa po na update ang ako ang USTEP. Guys, so uh, mag-upload rin ako dito sa USTEP sa mga reading materials and if not activities, much better if magigamit ka ang USTEP. And mag-update lang ko if naanatay I, if okay na ako yung step, uh, maka-access na mo sa inyong yung step. Naan na ang subject na foundation or wala pa? Ah, sige. Okay. Um, sa wala pa na siya kay wala pa na update ang sa amo ang instructor ang ang subject na foundation. So, mag-ingon rin ko if naan na para ma-aware po mo and pwede na mo maka- access sa foundation engineering sa USTEP. So, next is, it is the responsibility of the students to comply with class requirements in case of missed classes. The recorded videos of the lecture classes will be made available to the student and posted on the USTEP. Ito next. Okay na pa. Uh, the conduct of quizzes and terms exam will be face-to-face. -face. So, uh, expect lang a uh, uh, tong quizzes and exam will be face to face. Okay, so ang main concern nato is wala pa tay rooms, but okay ang schedule sa um according sa syllabus ang schedule sa tong first quiz will be third week or week three sa ato ang outline. So maybe third week third week sa September. Okay, our first quiz and hopefully na announce that tayo room assignments para makakandak tayo quiz face to face. But if wala pa dyan po classrooms, uh, mag-announce lang po if uh, mag-quiz ta through you steps or mag or any platform na maka-quiz ta. So, ana lang. Submission of assignments and PITs will be through you steps. Laboratory reports will be com com complied every end of the term and be submitted to the CE office. So, kailangan yun naman submit to laboratory um, hard copy. So, to be fair in giving scores, rubrics will be used to evaluate and grade all the uh, all of the submitted assignments, PATs, and laboratory reports of the students. Students are given a chance to take special quizzes and term exam if ever mi they missed it. However, they have to submit a letter of excuse for being absent on the scheduled time of the quizzes and term exam. So, okay, I will allow only if na valid nga reasons why did you 
uh, why are you absent during the quizzes or exam. So, para ma-raise na to ng concern and maka-take mo of um, special quiz and exam. So, kato lang for course requirements and for our course reading materials, okay, we have textbook references here. Uh, you can take a screenshot or sige lang, uh, ko lang ni-upload ang PowerPoint sa sa step yung talaga ito, pero Sige lang, magulat lang ta sa iyo, Steph. Uh, ako lang naipang upload ang ako mga materials gigamit sa presentation para ma-studyan ito ninyo. So, kanilang uh, for textbook reference, um, usually ang ginagamit kay ang author si Das. So, for principle of geotechnical engineering. And then si Marthy and Alaga. So, course reading materials, supply needed, okay, <clears throat> calculator, so di na mawala sa engineering ang calculator, Found foundation engineering plates, okay, um, nakakuha naman siguro mo, nakakuha naman mo sa format sa itong plates sa engineer, uh, sa SEA department, so, um, mo if nakakuha na mo og plates um kindly kuha na lang mo coordinate na lang mo sa inyo ang <clears throat> sa inyo ang group chat na uh, mo ninyo gamiton nga plates para ani nga subject so <clears throat> para uniform pod da para wala maglaylay computer or laptop uh, pwede na pod ko an cellphone so, URLs for online resources. Okay, natay mga nga links for our con. So, assessment. Mid and final term. Assignment. Electronic copy sent through email or use step and etc. At least two assignments in a term. So, natay do assignment uh, sa midterm. Assignment will be posted and submitted through USTEP. Always refer to the rubric uh, for the assignment criteria. Okay, discuss na ako na Laboratory reports, uh, one, plates, at least one laboratory reports and plate in a term. Laboratory reports or plates will be posted and submitted through USTEP. Always refer to the rubric for the criteria. <clears throat> Quizzes, at least three quizzes in a term. So, paning kamuta na ito, ngatulo atong quiz sa term. Okay, hindi pwede isa or doa ka quiz sa term. Okay, gansi ang, gansi ang students ana if doa ra ka quiz sa term. Okay, possibly, pananglitan, if isa ra ka quiz sa term, daw biyang uban classmates, dako grado, while ang other ni mga classmates kay gamay. So, wala naman tayo lang kuwan i-compute which is one isa lang ka-quiz so dili na mat, dili na to may value to tarong ang student so at least three quizzes in a term so at least man lang if gamay atong quiz 1 mabira pa sa quiz 2 o quiz 3 so ana lang so paning kamutan na to nga mo dili ta mo dili ta mabagsak sa do at least duha ka-quiz Okay, pabagsak ta sa isa ka quiz, manigamot ta sa sunod para dako ato makuha sa quiz. Quizzes schedule will be posted on USTEP. Always take note on the following. Date, time, and start, and then face-to-face -face ang ato ang quiz. So, mid and final term, major examinations will be face-to-face. Okay, midterm examination and final term examinations. So, for our grading policy, <clears throat> so, okay, mao naman dyan yung gina-orient per me, atong passed, passing percentage is 70%. So, so sa toang foundation engineering na subject, na atay laboratory, and then, um, lecture na to nga grade, which is nag-cover lang og 75%. Well, and then ang um, to make it 100%, we have our laboratory grade or the plates. 
So, ako kayo biraning laboratory of fleet sa ato ang subject. So, bisag 25% lang na makabira na na siya. So, class standing performance items or kanang mga attendance, activities, and other. So, natay 10%. Uh, quiz and prelim performance item. So, 40%. Oh, tako yung kayo ang quizzes dere sa lecture grade na to. So, paning kamutan na to ng quiz na to. And then, uh, midterm exam, it's only 30%. And then, PAT or performance innovative task will be 20%. And then, for labor laboratory grade or plates, so lab exercises and reports, we have 50%. And lab major exams will be 50%. So, naapun the exams atong laboratory. <clears throat> okay, so, term grade, midterm, 75% grade plus 25% laboratory grade. Okay, cost 100 and for our final term, okay, the same lang. So, our final grade, okay. So, for midterm, 50% and final term, 50%. So, equals to 100%. So, naatay concern sa 50-50 or naka-experience na mo one-third, two-thirds na grading system sa inyong kwan. Which one do you prefer? Fifty fifty, sir. Good to the sir. Good. Sir. Okay, good to run fifty fifty. Sige. Ah, uh, medyo delikado po dang one third, two thirds. Okay, so uh, for me, uh, mas safe ang fifty fifty percent na grading system. Um, wala po po ko ka experience ani during my um college. Wala po po ko ka experience ng one third, two thirds. Okay, so. Mas uh, safe ni ang 50-50% uh, grading system. So, wala ni question. So, for our rubrics, okay, sa um, a while ago, nag-discuss ta sa mga atong laboratory assignments nga based sa rubrics ang ang grading ato. So, mao ni siya. Rubric assignments. Assignment PPT. Okay. So, we have there, uh, we have ka category. So, we have excellent, average, needs improvement, and then zero for no assignment done. So for content, content is accurate and information is presented in logical order. Okay, so magkasunod-sunod na na siya. Uh, kanilang excellent ako ang basaho na. Okay, so slide, presentation, image, and background or color. So, presentation flows well and logically. Uh, transitions are smooth and interesting. Image are appropriate and the color used are pleasing to the eyes. So, magbagay-bagay na ta sa itong mga colors o on sa itong panggamitin nga color combination if mag-present of PowerPoint. So, spelling, grammar, sentence, structure, all grammar is very well stated and on point. Spelling is also very good. Okay. For our timeliness, assignments are submitted on or before the deadline. So, maka-affect po dang timeliness sa ato ang rubric. So, kana lang for assignment and assignment PPT. For our plates and assignment which is ang uh, computations or ang uh, solving sa kaninga subject. <clears throat> so, sa excellent rea po nga magbasa and sa one. So, for, for our first category, we have our quality. The handwriting of plates is consistent and is legibly written. Figures drawn are aesthetically excellent. Line diagrams are provided. No erasures were made were made illustration adds to the reader's understanding of the problem so kana lang so um derita sa kuan kaning <clears throat> diri ko sa kuan mag focus sa handwriting of lah makuan din yang 
Naka-delimit ang Google Meet. Nai-limit ang Google Meeting. <clears throat> Class? Naana ka ron, sir. Naana, sir. Mm -hmm. Wait na siya premium, sir. Ah, makabasiri lang ako lang. Sige, mag-create uh, mag lang ako bago nga link. Enjoy lang dahil yun mga class, ha? <clears throat> so, continue ta. Um, okay, sa so, handwriting of plates is consistent and is legibly written. So, ang yun lang ko nga, ba, nga mabasa lang ang ato ang plates and then tsada hanay ang solutions when we try to write our plates so kanilang um bal kay bisod pod kung na sakto ang atong answer pero dili masabtan ang atong handwriting which is mga question pa tana so kanilang akong hangyo ang handwriting ninyo sa plates so <clears throat> ang inyong nakaagi naman siguro mo sa inyong previous na mga na mga subjects nga nagkuan mo plates so I hope dili pa ni bago sa inyo sa plates ang um, handwriting. Ana lang. So, for content, information about the problem is well presented and sorry lang. is well presented and very organized. The solutions are presented in a complete step-by-step -step procedure. All answers have the correct value introduces a unique way of showing solution but still understandable by the reader. Okay, nag-connect si quality of si content. So, we have to introduce a unique way of showing solution but still understandable by the readers. Kung pangit ang agi, diligin na siya masabtan. Pero pag tsada, masabtan. <clears throat> so, timeliness. Okay, naaya po yung timeliness. Ani. So, consider da po nato ang deadlines. Sige lang, dili mo kayo kukuan sa deadlines. So, plates or assignments are submitted on or before the deadline. For laboratory experiment, so experimental procedure, all important experimental details are well stated. Okay, so results, uh, wait. results includes data, figures, graphs, tables, and then etc. And for discussions, all important trends and data comparisons have been interpreted correctly and discussed. Spelling, grammar, sentence, structure. Uh, all sentence grammar is very well stated and on point. Spelling also is very good. And then timeliness, reports are submitted on or before the deadline. So, that long. So, Mauro to ang para sa tong course outline. And then, mag-discuss ko sa tong week 1 na uh, 1, which is schedule ni Japan karon So, um, leave sa siguro ta ni nga uh, 1 class. Or ayan na lang, napamantay 12 minutes. Um, leave lang, ay mag-create lang kung pag-oda yun nga Google Meet class. If mag-end na ito ang Google Meet. Okay, raba? Yes, sir. Okay. So, na natay questions regarding sa tong course outline? None so far. Okay, sige. 